one of our top rated compact cars, but it's priced competitively with subcompacts. Uh, and the, uh, you know, the, the Elantra delivers a lot for the money, has a roomy, well-finished interior, smooth powertrain, nimble handling, <gasps> and even its fuel economy, 29 MPG, is competitive with subcompacts. So, you know, if you're looking for a car under $20,000, it makes a whole lot more sense to get a launcher than, than a small uh, subcompact. Now, in our compact car category, we picked the Subaru Impreza overall, which in our ratings edges out the Elantra a little bit. This is the second year for the in the top picks for the Impreza, and it's re in its recent redesign, it uh, it really did well. It has an absorbent ride that rivals some luxury sedans. It's easy to live with, with roomy interior, spacious rear seat, good visibility, and even its fuel economy of 26 to 27 mpg, depending on the version, whether it's a hatchback or sedan. Uh, and that's pretty good for an all-wheel drive car. In our sports sedan category, we picked the BMW 328i. And of course, the 3 Series, we all know, is, is sporty, fun to drive, has great handling. Um, but with its recent redesign, it got roomier, it got lu more luxurious, and it got more fuel efficient. So it's a better all-around vehicle now. And in fact, it's 28 MPG overall that we measured is the best in its class. In luxury cars, we picked the Audi A6. And this is just a great car to spend time in. It's agile, quick, and as we've said, it's a joy to drive. It's, uh, it has a, a well-crafted interior with lots of high-tech features, a strong V6, and a super smooth automatic transmission. Uh, and even its fuel economy, 22, is pretty respectable uh, for the all-wheel drive the version that we tested. <coughs> In sports cars, we picked some virtual twins. The Scion FRS and Subaru BRZ. And these are purebred rear-wheel drive sports cars that are really fun to drive. They provide great handling, great acceleration, great braking. Uh, they're, they're available at affordable prices in the mid-20,000 range. Our testers had a ball with them at our track. But, but they are pure sports cars, so they have a stiff ride, kind of a little bit spartan. Uh, but, uh, you know, so if you're, if you're looking for comfort and convenience, these are probably not where you want to go, but if you're looking for fun, this is definitely it. In our green car category, for the 10th straight year, we picked the Toyota the Prius. Now, we have tested cars that get better fuel economy in terms of MPG. Uh, we've tested electric cars uh, specifically that have gotten 100 or better, the equivalent of 100 or better MPG. But we feel that the Prius still provides the best blend of fuel efficiency, practicality, and affordability of any car. And it's 44 MPG. Is still the best of any five-passenger non-plug-in vehicle we've tested. So 10 years running, it's our green car. In the small SUV category, uh, last year's winner, the Toyota RAV4, has been redesigned. Uh, the runner-up, the Subaru uh, Forester, was redesigned. That allowed the Honda CRV to kind of move up into this spot because we haven't tested those redesigns yet. But the CRV is a solid choice in itself. It's a good all-around SUV, competitively priced, smooth, responsive powertrain, good fuel economy of 23 mpg, uh, and uh, excellent reliability. For a mid-size SUV, pick the Toyota Highlander for the third straight year. And the way I look at the Highlander is it, has, it offers the practicality of a three-row SUV and the refinement of a good sedan. So that means it has cushy ride, well-finished cabin, smooth powertrain. And the hybrid model gets 27 MPG overall, which is the best we've gotten out of any SUV. And finally, the minivan category. We chose the Honda Odyssey. The Odyssey missed out last year because it had below average reliability. In our latest survey, though, its reliability came up and it was able to edge out the Toyota Sienna for this spot. Uh, and this is a solid choice for a family, Comfortable, roomy, versatile, uh, generous rear seat room, and it now has a backup camera that's standard on all models.
which we think is a great safety feature, especially for a vehicle that's around a lot of small kids. Uh, and I think that's it. So. Uh,